phenomenon called acceleration. What is acceleration? Acceleration is the ramping up of time so that everything seems to go much faster than usual. And I'm sure over the last 10 years, most of you watching this video would agree with me that time has been streaking by. In fact, a year goes by and surprises you. The day goes by at work. You lift your head up and the day is finished. The week goes by with a flash from one Saturday to the other. It seems like there were no days between. Now what is this? What is happening? It was decided a while ago, at least 10 years ago, that the Earth was a little bit behind on its evolutionary schedule. And this was caused by the takeover of the dark forces right after World War II. There was a 50 year period from then until now where the dark forces seemed to have taken control of the Earth ever more than they had before. If you note your history, after World War II, the world was not left in a victorious state. In fact, half the world turned communism and the other half turned consumerism. So both tendencies tended to retard the spiritual development of mankind. And during this 50 years, Mankind was obsessed with both consumerism on this side, on the, on the western side, as well as repressed or suppressed uh, on, in the communist zone. So the progress, the spiritual progress of mankind tended to slow down during this period and we, we can go into this discussion uh, a little bit deeper as to why it slowed down. But suffice it to say that man did not make the progress that was intended after the Second World War. In fact, there was, right after the Second World War, a great optimism in the forming of the United Nations, in the statements of peace, that there would never be another war like the World War. And in fact, right after, in the 1950s, you have the start of the, of the Korean War. And according to our, our latest history books, there was a war every single year since then. These were regional wars that were perpetrated all over the world by the dark forces in an attempt, of course, to make a profit and to wage war for... Uh, wage war for profit. In this, in this 50 years that passed after the Second War, World War, we had a period of stagnation, mental stagnation, sort of a numbness that came over during this period. Although, if we look back, there were little signs of progress. But in general, mankind was supposed to enter the New Age during that period and in fact was stalled for a period of about 50 years. So now we have another 50 years ahead of us, which is supposed to be the preparation for Earth to re-establish a balance of energies before we can enter the new age. And for us to catch up another 50 years, it was decided by the Cosmic Fathers to ramp up time and to make things go much faster and this is what we're currently in is a period of catch-up catching up to what was slowed down in the last 50 years now during this period of catch-up we have as I said an acceleration of time an acceleration of everything if all the atoms in this earth sphere and also in the in the universe are ramped up let's say 
a hundred times more than they were, say, 200 years ago. For us, everything looks relatively the same, except when we speak of time. And we see that weeks flash by, months flash by, years flash by, and we're very surprised when even in a day, a day at work, you lift up your head at the end of the day and you, you wonder what happened to the whole day. It just flashes by. Well, this is not your, this is not your imagination. Because if you check with your fellow friends and, and, and family members, you'll see that everybody feels this. Although relatively, at, in, in relation to your, your, your life, your, your things, etc., uh, things don't seem to be shaking and moving very quickly. But if you check with everybody, you have to, you have to deduce or you have to deduct from what they say, that there is indeed an acceleration of time. And during this acceler acceleration, one of the main byproducts of it is insanity. That things are beginning to go so fast that those uh, beings, those human beings who are used to going slower, will now be run off the rails, so to speak. They will, will soon run off the rails. For example, if you're used to driving a car down the road at 25 miles per hour, and suddenly you have to drive at 100 miles per hour on the same small road, you will see that soon you will run off the road. And this is exactly how many, many people in today's world are experiencing this sort of nervousness and insanity. Now this is insanity penetrates every single phase of our lives. It penetrates into the relationships in the families, in your workplace, in traffic, everywhere you go. And you see people getting more and more nervous and more and more and acting more and more in an insane manner than before. All you need to do is check the newspapers to see some of the strangest things that human beings are doing today. This is one of the reasons why there, there are these strange goings on in the world today. But it's not only in these day-to-day -day activities that acceleration is affecting. It is affecting the world system. The whole financial system of the world is being turned inside out and upside down. And things are moving at such a speed that most of the leaders do not know what they're doing and cannot cope with it. And you see this every day in the, in the newspapers, how our presidents, our councils, our parliaments are just dumbfounded by the way things are rolling along and they have no way of controlling them. There is also the fact that this acceleration is being done deliberately by our cosmic fathers. What is going on exactly? As I mentioned in some other videos, we are now completing a, a 26,000 year cycle and we are at the very last tail end of this cycle. And if you, if you know cycles, you'll know that there is a building phase of the cycle and there's a, there's a destruction phase that ends, cleans up the whole cycle and starts anew in a new cycle. What we're now experiencing is the tail end of a 26,000 year cycle. And that is why, number one, we have the, the acceleration. But the acceleration you can look at as a giant vacuum cleaner or a broom sweeping out everything that was created during the building phase of the, of the cycle and is now being swept out so that the cycle and the earth are cleaned up so that the new age can start perhaps in the next 50 years. So 
the acceleration at the same time is overturning, 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 and creating this turmoil. But this overturning and turmoil that is the result of this uh, acceleration is, believe it or not, a good thing. Because what it's doing is cleaning up the earth so that we can start a new cycle, which is the new age. Now, part of the cleaning up process, as I mentioned before, is the crumbling of the financial system. And why? Because the financial system in the world today is a means of control used by a small clique of individual families that have controlled the world for centuries. And they've controlled the world through monetary means, by controlling the money. And by controlling the world's money, they have been able to manipulate millions or billions of human beings into what they want them to do. And if you doubt this, all you have to do is think of yourself going up with your card to the ATM machine, where this machine here controls exactly how much money you have and what you're going to do with it and when to, when to use it. Not only that, every time you make a transaction, one, this, this clique, this family of what we would call the dark forces, takes a little bit of money from you. A little fee. And when you multiply that fee by millions and millions and millions of people, you can see exactly how much they earn every day just by controlling the flow of money through your household. But not only are they involved in the control of money per se, they are involved in fabricating wars on the earth, and they've done this for centuries and centuries in order to generate more money. Now, the, financial, the collapse of the financial system is part and parcel of this cleaning up of the earth, and it is caused by the ramping up of the energies, which we call acceleration, that forces the systems that have been built around the financial uh, system, which is actually the ball and chain of humanity. What it does is it disturbs the system and causes it to uh, malfunction. And this is what you're seeing right now, the malfunctioning of a system that is being caused by this acceleration. Now, part of this acceleration, of course, as this acceleration overturns and crumbles the financial system, we will see their attempt to survive. And the traditional way of surviving such a turmoil in, in the financial system is to create a nice big war. And the war is supposed to divert people's attention from from the collapsing system. At the same time, the war is supposed to regenerate the economy as well as reinstitute, perhaps um, dictate ways of doing things that are very dictatorial. So, this is the thing that that is caused by the acceleration, these two factors, which is the crumbling of the, of the financial system and therefore the reaction by these forces that control the money system um, it, that they will take by making war. So one of the results that we will be living through in the next few years will be some type of a worldwide conflict that will come out of this whole effort by the dark forces to save themselves. But at the same time, acceleration will continue and it will keep ramping up and ramping up and ramping up for, I don't know, perhaps centuries from now on. And the faster things roll, the more people who are of lower vibrations or people of the, of the dark force category whose vibrations are relatively slow, they will be pushed into insane behavior. And this is the turmoil that we on earth, we as light workers, will have to endure for the next 
decade or two, as this acceleration begins to clean out and cleanse the earth, actually, of these man-made systems. At the same time, the acceleration will affect a third factor, which is it will cause the earth itself to vibrate at such a higher level that it will cause the what we call the earth changes. And the earth changes will come about primarily from the rising of the seas caused by the cracking up of the glaciers on both poles and of course the rapid acceleration will cause a, a sort of warming of the earth which will cause them these gigantic glaciers to break off from from the mother glaciers and fall into the ocean and the displacement that is caused will make the seas rise and you'll have the entire coastlines of the whole world flooded and this will cause a great upheaval and displacement of populations populations that if they are ready will be heading toward higher ground so we have here the result also an acceleration that these earth changes are being are being fostered by this rapidity of the atoms that everything's moving faster and everything will will cause and all this fast movement will cause great turmoil on the earth both physically psychologically and also against the man and the breaking up of the man-made systems so you see that the acceleration has been put into place as a means of bringing to an end this great cycle of 26,000 years and cleaning up wiping out all that does not serve mankind and getting the earth ready for the new cycle which is called the new age or the golden age so even though from our perspective today we look at this as something quite disastrous in fact many people call these catastrophes but if we we as light bearers look on the other side of what might be called catastrophes we see the dawning of a new age. Now, when the new age comes, and that can only come once the forces on earth have balanced at least in equilibrium, that the light forces will equal the dark forces, but hopefully the light forces will be stronger than the dark forces, and a new age can be organized. We see that even in the beginning of the new age that is to come, acceleration will continue. Now, what is the, what is the result of this acceleration on the populations? The result, of course, is that all people and all beings on earth who cannot adapt to this acceleration will choose to leave the earth. Many will die Many will just uh, say, adios, I can't stand it anymore, and they'll just uh, uh, choose to leave the earth. And what we'll have, of course, in this whole process is a depopulation of the earth due to acceleration. Now, the acceleration um, has its good parts also. Not only is it cleaning up, but it's also enabling those beings of higher vibration to take over and these beings of higher higher vibration are now being born these children that are coming up we call the six root race and these uh, will populate the world and they will come into existence and will be quite adaptable to the higher to the higher vibrations caused by acceleration those of us who are in the whole area of spiritual development can also, through meditation, increase our vibrations 
so that they are in sync with the higher vibrations being fostered by acceleration. There are several methods uh, which we can take upon ourselves and uh, try to practice that uh, will raise our vibrations so that we can adjust to the higher vibrations as they as they as time goes along and I would think that what the people that we call light bearers or light workers are the ones who are equipped through meditation to raise their vibrations so that they are in sync with the higher vibrations fostered by acceleration. Now this is absolutely necessary for the thousands and thousands of light bearers who are on the earth today to do. Otherwise, there would be nobody at the end of the quote-unquote catastrophes to be in charge of the reconstruction of the earth so that it can enter a new age. There will be much destruction from now until maybe 10 or 20 years. But those who survive are those who will be able to adjust to these vibrations and these ramped up vibrations I mean. And in doing so they ready themselves through spiritual development as well as ramping up their vibrations to the point where they will be readily able to communicate with the spiritual hierarchy which has promised to guide mankind into the new age and into reconstructing the society according to more cosmic ideals. So, acceleration will cause both the destruction and disappearance of many that are on earth, but it will also foster whoever is willing to adjust to the vibrations of higher acceleration, a whole population of people who will be readied and able to reconstruct the society at the point where we enter the new age.